morning, Ms. Williams and Ms. Cook. My name is Ms. Raven. Um, what would you like guys like to be called? You can call me Andrea. You can call me uh, Chastity. Okay, I thank you guys for coming in. Can you tell me what brings you in today? I'll start. Um, I'm Andrea. This is my daughter, Jasmine. She's 16 years old, and she's having trouble with obeying me. So I'm bringing her in today because at this point, I don't know what else to do. Can you tell me what's going on, Jasmine? Um, I just feel like my mom just doesn't listen to me. She thinks I'm just a bad uh, teenager, and she doesn't let me do anything. Um, wow. She just always wants to take my <clears throat> phone, um, and I feel like I do everything that I need to do. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I understand. Okay. I understand that frustrates you. Can you tell me some things that have been going on at home? Um, well, my mom just, she, she yells a lot. She yells a lot at me. Because you don't listen. Well, I mean, what what do you want me to do? Listen. All you do is, all you do is tell me to take my phone. Or you just want to take my phone all the time. I don't understand. That's not the truth. Can you tell me what's going on? Okay, so with the phone situation, Every night, Monday through Friday, by 9 p.m., I request her cell phone. She has school. She's 16 years old. She doesn't understand that I'm the authority figure. I'm mom. She's not. So lately, what she's been doing is she goes into the restroom at about 8.50 p.m. She keeps her phone for like an hour, and she's talking to her boyfriend. So, of course, I don't get the phone at 9 o'clock. She's locked up in the bathroom. Clearly, I can't go in and lay her space, but it's been a repeating cycle. It's becoming a pattern. So... I'm fed up. If I take the phone, I'm bad. If I take it and I keep it, I'm a bad mom. I'm just trying to make sure she gets adequate sleep for school. And I know that can be hard on you with trying to remind her that she needs to do basically what you're asking her to do. Yeah, it's very hard on me. Jasmine, can you tell me what you can do differently that would allow you to turn your phone in on time? I mean, I don't see what I'm doing wrong. Have you tried to talk to your mom about this? Um, I have tried to talk to her, but she just, she never listens to me. Um, she always looks like she's bothered. She tells me that she's shooting. I don't know what to do. I try to talk to her. But she so I'm hearing that you feel that you don't feel heard around at home. I don't. I don't. <sighs> I don't know. I don't, I don't get all this. When she's at home, she hardly ever tries to talk to me. She's always on the phone with her boyfriend. That's a now, it's not a lie, Jasmine. Usually what happens is when I'm on the phone and I'm having a conversation, she steps in and she wants me to stop what I'm doing and come and interrupt. I taught her as a young child that whenever I'm on the phone, you're, you can go and excuse yourself for the time being. But of course, by the time I get off the phone on a normal day or something, she runs and she's in her room. She runs on the phone with her boyfriend and all she does is talk to him all day. I can step in, hey Jazz, did you do your chores? Hey Jazz, you got your school clothes out? I'm on the phone. So then it's, it turns into an argument. So Jasmine, do you feel that this is a problem? Um, I feel like it's a problem that I can't talk to my mom. I do want to make her feel happy, but she's always on the phone too. <laughs> So tell me what are some ways that you can make your mom feel happy. Um, I guess by giving her my phone when I need to give her my phone. That's a good one. Okay. But the question is, will she do it? She wants to go on this trip mm -hmm. to Rome next year. She's going to be a senior next year. And I really would like for my daughter to go. But I do believe in my daughter following rules. So if she can't follow the rules now... As a junior, I mean, why should I allow my child to go to Rome? And I'm coming out of pocket almost $6,000 saving up. You know, I tell her all the time, I'm going to work every day. The least you can do is what I ask of you. And it's basic things. Like, I'm really asking her to just do her chores and to respect me. And I'm not getting that. So, I mean, I would love to see that in my child. She can at least try to do one thing, such as giving me her phone when I ask or doing her chores daily. And not skipping over them, Jasmine. I feel like that that would be a start. But she has to really do it. That's what I'm dealing with. So, Jasmine, I've gathered that your mom is having issues with you bringing her your cell phone daily on the right, at the right time. 
And I've also gathered that you're having issues with respecting her at home. Yes. So before the next session, I suggest that at least one day next week, you sit down with your mom and you dedicate a day to her. And y'all discuss things, have a conversation, find out what your mom likes. Your mom can find out what you like. And at least try to do that once a week. That might be helpful as far as creating a better relationship. I would love to talk to my mom, you know, because we never have conversations. <clears throat> well, I noticed that you're willing to do it, and I'm glad that y'all both agree yeah. to doing this. So I would like to meet with y'all within the next two weeks, same day, same time. Okay, that'll work. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's locked. <laughs>